Donny Craven Stadium hosts perhaps the single greatest varsity rugby rivalry in the world. Traveling from Cape Town is the UCT Ikes up against the home side and top of the log, Martis. Well, it's Varsity Cup 11, but it is into Varsity 106. These two sides first played each other 107 years ago in 1911, but 100 years ago they were named Stellenbosch and UCT. Prior to that, they were Victorians and South African College. Over the years, it's gone largely the way of Marty's 70 wins coming for Marty's and only 17 for UCT. But UCT have been having a very good season, surprising many. You'll see above the Marty's name there, it says a seven try value. So Varsity Cup has a point scoring system that if the try originates in the team's half, it's seven points and that could be on its way as Chris Smith lets it out and it's through. Sol, Sol's going and can you believe it? Two and a half minutes into InterVarsity. Stellenbosch crossover. And round three. Sees the UCT scrub moving backwards, but Tarasenga finds himself in space, sends a dummy, and loses it just across the line. What, what happened there? Nyasha yes. Tarasenga did yeah. exactly what was needed. There's a mark. That's a good tackle from Chris Mitt, a desperate tackle. That should, be, that should have been a try easily. Smith, Smith, oh, space for Saul. Saul could be very dangerous, puts it to his left foot, being chased up, just evaded it. Saul, can you believe it? Another try, it's his brace. Uh, okay. Q, I'm happy with the grounding. Are you happy that the ball was not lost forward by no, the we'll just have to see if there was a knock on before that. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Shady Sean. Yes, Sean. You need to change your on-field decision. Okay. The ball was knocked forward by the Marty's team, so therefore scrum, blue ball. Thank you, Sean. So no try. Uh, scrum five meters out for UCT. Correct. Thank you. No try. Knock on. Scrum. <laughs> UCT scrum holding up at first. Good forward ball and a penalty. Oh. Penalty try. Penalty try. From Klingele Jaraswini. Martis were going forward. They had the ball Not in control. Standing up. Remember with the penalty it's try, you don't have to go <laughs> for poles. It's All already right. automatically given. And Hawk, the UCT fly off, basically wanted to play quickly. And all the Martis players yeah. were still <laughs> on the other side of the field. For Shea. Shea holds on to it well. Duncan Sapi, however, great defense. And now, now, oh, he's called the try. Opportunistic play. And a good strong strong scrum. That's uh, just pure power for Marty's up front. Ball, however, still comes out. Stellenbosch's side. Smith to Smith. Oh, it was the dummy kept. Smith lets it out brilliantly. And that's going to be a try for Janko Finter. And Mayhazen does well. The more formed. Big push from UCT. The Blitzel looks like he has his hands on it. First stop it, use it once. Rolling, moving forward. And they're over, that's a try. Boy. And Six. we resume things once again. 20 meters out from the Marty's try line. Big push from UCT. They had a one-man advantage earlier. Now they don't. And with eight on eight, they take it well. Degavea cuts forward. Degavea towards the try line. And he scores. It's a great try from Mikey Tigers from a good scrum. Relax. 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 Get back. Well, into varsity 106. Marty's revealed themselves why they are unbeaten and top of the log. They were a class outfit today. However, UCT can be very proud of coming back strongly in the second half and showing a lot of bravery. Ultimately, a wonderful occasion ends with Marty's beating Ikes 33 points to 14. Right, we